all right guys so if you're on my Facebook um you know that I was going to introduce you to an awesome new site that I came across um, and this is a review also definitely check this out guys because I have so many people um, telling me damn where you get where do you get cheap nicks um, well I get cheap nicks in my area but since you guys are nowhere near me to get that I have a whole new website that you guys can check out and it was not new but I mean it's new to me and um, if you guys haven't heard of it definitely check it out um, they sell nicks in white X however you want to say it very 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 affordable these prices are even cheaper than my local places where I get it so if you guys are liking the prices where I get it you guys are gonna love this website it's more convenient you can order from it and get it um, straight from them so the first thing that I'm going to do all these are based on my opinion my personal usage um, whatnot or whatever um, so now the first product that I have here is this primer it's called the Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer, which just looks like this. It comes in 1.014 ounces. Um, and I only use, I've only used one other face primer before using this one, which is the Hard Candy Primer. Um, I really, really love the Hard Candy Primer. Um, this one, on the other hand, is is a bit different as far it well, actually it's a lot different. Uh, first of all, it is clear, as you can tell from the tube, that it comes out clear, which is good. So it's um, great for all types of skin um, types and tones. It's out in the tube. It does look like a gel. It's like a gel consistency. It is pretty thick. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks like a gel. So um, it's really smooth after applying. It, it is really, really smooth. It's moisturizing, and I like this. Every day that I've used it, it's definitely made my makeup stay on all day like a whole lot longer I don't have to really do any touch-ups um, and I don't know if it's that because I've been using the foundation also so it may also be the foundation I'm not sure which product it is I haven't used this with anything else but the uh, uh, NYX foundation which I'm gonna show you right now so the second thing they sent me is the NYX HD Studio Foundation, which looks like this. This one, of course, also is cruelty-free, and it comes in 1.26 ounce container. Um, the best thing that I like about this one is that, let me show you right quick. So it looks like this, and this one is in soft beige. The best thing that I like about this is that it has a pump. So very, very, very convenient for myself. I don't like the ones that I have to pour out because it. I always pour out too much. There's always some that I always have to waste and I always pour out too much. So I love the pump. This is definitely medium to full coverage. More full coverage than anything. I am wearing it now and guess what? I didn't even have to have a powder to set this. So I'm not wearing a powder to set it I hadn't been wearing a powder actually one day I wore a powder to set it just to see how uh, how long it would last or you know or whatnot and it did an awesome job so if you guys you know you set it with a powder of course it's going to be a whole lot better you don't have to set it with a powder because it actually gives you kind of like a like a matte powdery finish I don't know it's kind of weird but I it looks like I'm, I'm wearing powder and I'm not so um, this one, I believe it's, it's really, really affordable. It's about $12 right now at portdaisy.com. Uh, they're actually having a 10% off sale to 20% off, something like that. Definitely check them out if you guys, and, and that's aside from their already great prices. Third thing that I have that they sent me, which I have been dying to try. If you guys know me and you guys talk to me, I have been try dying to try these, uh, NYX soft matte lip creams. I have this one they sent me and this one is in SMLC03, the name is Tokyo and it is a basically a Barbie pink color. Um, it comes off as a a matte, um, just, just exactly what it says here. It's not a lipstick nor is it a lip gloss, it's like nothing you've experienced before. It's a lipstick cream that goes on silky but looks soft matte. Um, I am definitely into, into matte colors, um, matte finishes, matte anything. So that's why I've been dying to try these. But um, this is what the swatch looks like on that. 
and I absolutely love this um, it doesn't say the size or how much it comes in it but it's mm, it's a pretty pretty average size it doesn't say how how big or how it doesn't say how many floor ounces it is but it's a pretty pretty good size um, these are I think about four dollars on the site don't quote me on that guys because I sort of forgot it's been a few days so absolutely love these they have all the nyx new stuff if you guys are checking y'all want to check out the the new hd blush they have all the new things they have the palette single shadows jumbo pencils they have um everything all the new stuff all the hd uh, products definitely check them out um the last thing that they sent me is this nude on nude and i've heard so many good things about these i am actually um a fan of theirs on Facebook so um, when this came out I was like man that's that's one badass palette I like it so I'm glad I was sent this one also to try out this one is um, like I said it's called nude on nude and everyone who has this compares it to the naked palette I myself don't have the Naked palette to compare this to, but I do want to say the pigmentation on this is awesome. You can definitely make a look and, you know, make a look from this palette that will be exactly the same, if not the same, from your uh, Naked palette. So, I'm, I didn't go pay 40 something dollars to buy that palette, but you know what? This one has more colors than that one. Um, definitely not the same sizes of course but it's a whole lot cheaper this one I think runs about $22 and this is what it looks like it has 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 colors and I've used this about three times and let me just show you the pigmentation on these these are let me see which ones I swatched okay these are awesome look at that very very pretty and that's all the last ones right here is what I swatched right there for you um, definitely comparable to the naked palette um, from from the reviews that I've seen on the naked palette let me and that's the swatches on my hand there you go All right, now if you open this down here, which is also a good thing, the best thing, no, it's not better than my shadows because I love shadows, but you get all of these lip colors, you get two applications, one for a for your lip application, one for the eyeshadow. So you get all of these colors as well for $22, I think, yeah. Awesome. I'm telling you guys the sales that they have are outrageous like the single eyeshadows are like three dollars and 20 something cents so much cheaper like like 30 cents cheaper than what I buy them here the palettes are like seven dollars six or seven dollars um, very very affordable I I think this is cheaper than not only cherryculture.com but also nyx.com definitely cheaper than nyx.com nyx cosmetics or whatever so um yeah the look that I I'm wearing today I am actually wearing a cream blush natural I think I love this cream blush I'm not wearing any powder the foundation that I'm wearing is this one right here and then my eye look is actually created by my um, by my BH palette or something so this is what it looks like if you guys are checking out my face of the day I'll post pictures now hope you guys enjoy um, thanks for watching guys let me know if you guys are gonna check out this website or let me know if you guys have checked it out or if you plan on ordering so yeah thanks guys one love y'all stay up